Hi, <clears throat> Kenny again. Uh, maybe as you looked at the title of this uh, vlog, um, you thought I must have got it wrong. Surely I must have meant to write that it's important to speak out the, the right words, uh, not that it's important to speak out the, the wrong words. Let me tell you how that title came about. <clears throat> I was reading in the Psalms again today, and I was reading Psalm 129. And Psalm 129, just let me remind you, it begins like this. Greatly have they afflicted me from my youth. Let Israel now say, greatly have they afflicted me from my youth. Yet they've not prevailed against me. And the words that uh, actually struck me out of these opening verses of Psalm 129 were just these words, let Israel now say. I remember a few years ago that um, the council in charismatic Christianity was that it was very important to declare over yourself the right words. And uh, part of that meant that you weren't allowed to speak out words of fear or words of anxiety that if you felt these things, they weren't to be spoken out. You were to declare positive things only over yourself, words of, of faith and so on. And that was linked to a sort of pseudoscience that uh, our speech has a very important place in our brain. And then that was linked to uh, James teaching about the tongue uh, that what we speak out has a tremendous control over our lives. And uh, that wasn't the purpose of James speaking at all. He was actually speaking about the tongue of a teacher, a preacher, and the effect that can have over a, a whole gathering of people. And that's why teachers are judged more strictly because of what they, uh, the damage as well as the good things that they can cause by the words of their tongue. And so a sort of pseudoscience was linked to a wrong interpretation of the Bible uh, to produce wrong teaching and actually teaching that was pastorally unwise and very destructive. Namely, muzzle these negative feelings within you. Uh, don't allow them to be uh, spoken out. And uh, maybe you're feeling that at this time in the coronavirus, as a person of faith, you maybe feel you're not allowed to speak out words of anxiety. You're not allowed to speak out words of worry. You're not allowed to speak out words of fear. That's why I, I love this uh, verse in Psalm 129. Let Israel now say, you're allowed to speak about distressing things. You're allowed to speak about things that worry you. You're allowed to voice them. You're allowed to voice your fears. You're allowed to voice your anxiety. And I'll tell you what will happen if you don't allow yourself to do that. You'll actually push these feelings down and they'll come back into your life at some stage in a sort of twisted, perverted form. It's really, really important that our relationship with God is based on truth, not just the truth of who God is, but the truth of who we really are and where we're really at. I was speaking in a <coughs> previous blog to this, <coughs> pardon me, about the fact that uh, faith is a process. And uh, sometimes in order to get to the place we want to be, um, that journey can pass through all sorts of quite dark feelings and it's important that we acknowledge that. It's important we don't allow where we should be to mock where we are. And so I would encourage you, if you're feeling anxious, don't muzzle these feelings. A part of faith in the God of the Bible is let Israel now say, let the people of God say, because actually sometimes our refusal to say these things is not a statement of our faith, but a statement of our fear. Uh, almost that I, I can't bear to face up to this and so I'll not say it. It's a very healthy thing 
to admit our fears, our anxieties, our worries. It's a sign that we actually understand who the God of the Bible is, that he knows our frame, he remembers we're dust, and he has compassion upon us. So I wonder if wrong teaching mixed with pseudoscience has led to you imbibing and embracing wrong pastoral advice, not to tell God how you're really feeling. I would encourage you this day, after listening to this, maybe just to set time aside. And if you are anxious and you are afraid, well, Psalm 129, let yourself say that. Let yourself tell these things to God. And I pray that as you bring who you are to who God is, that somehow he'll help you from that place of honesty into a place of a true experience of his peace. Your expression of your faith, your worry, your, your worry, your fear today could actually be an expression of your faith. Don't please be tortured by the idea it's a, an expression of unbelief. It's quite the opposite. So go ahead and say the wrong things today. The things that perhaps some versions of Christianity have told you uh, you're not supposed to say. Say them because the God of the Bible would encourage you to say them and to find rest and to find refuge in him. So God bless. Let Israel now say. And uh, at the end of this vlog, let yourself say to God what you really need to say to him. And don't hold back. God bless and bye for now.